Uh, yeah, I hope that you're hearing me. Uh-huh. This is the future, all about cybersecurity. Talking about the hackers, I'm just trying to warn you. From the one and only legend, the cyber informer. Hey, yeah, yeah, this is the cyber reformer. Uh, this is the cyber reformer. Let's go. It's time for the Cybersecurity Business Connect and Protect Central Coast How To video. I am Michael Trimblett, the Cyber Informer, and today we'll look at how to increase your security by going passwordless with Microsoft 365. How can no passwords be more secure than using passwords? This video will show you. Let's go. Microsoft have just implemented passwordless authentication across all of their systems. Whether you have a personal or business Microsoft account, you can enable this right now. What is passwordless authentication? Passwordless authentication is a way to configure your login without a password. I'll demonstrate how to set this up and how it works shortly. Google and Apple will be doing something similar in the near future. Read the Microsoft blog about passwordless authentication at the link on the screen. There are a few pieces of wisdom in the blog. I really like the quote, hackers don't break in, they log in. Another quote from the article. One of our recent surveys found that 15% of people use their pets' names for password inspiration. Other common answers include family names and important dates like birthdays. We also found 1 in 10 people admitted reusing passwords across sites, and 40% say they've used a formula for their passwords, like Fall 2021, which eventually becomes Winter 2021, or Spring 2022. Hackers know these formulas, so if we can eliminate passwords, we can resolve the problems of remembering your passwords across sites, reusing passwords, or using weak passwords. This is the process when you have a multi-factor device that is configured for passwordless authentication. A username is entered from the computer. The server sends back a two-digit number which appears on the computer screen. The server sends a notification to the mobile device to ask if it was you. You must either have a PIN or biometrics set up on the phone to unlock it. You then select the corresponding two-digit number from a choice of three, then tap the accept button. This sends the selection back to the server. The server checks the selection is correct, and if it is, the server allows access to the requesting computer or device. How is not having a password more secure than a password? Multi-factor authentication relies on something you know, something you have, and or something you are. What if all three can be combined? To use passwordless, Microsoft requires you to have either a PIN or biometrics to unlock your phone. Let's assume biometrics. As we saw from the graphic on the last slide, when you enter a username in the online form, you'll get a number displayed on the screen. This two-digit number along with your username can be counted as something you know. The notification sent to your phone is something you have. Unlocking the device with biometrics is something you are. Essentially, you have three-factor authentication. If you unlock your phone using a PIN, this is something you know. So that means something you are is eliminated, making it two-factor authentication, but still a powerful two-factor authentication. Let's see how to set up and use this feature. This demonstration already assumes you have multi-factor authentication sending notifications to your phone app. As I demonstrated back in the How to Set Up Multi-Factor Authentication in Microsoft 365 Academy video. Before we start the demonstration, it is assumed you already have set up multi-factor authentication with push notifications to the Authenticator app on your account prior to this video. Watch the How to Set Up Multi-Factor Authentication in Microsoft 365 video in the Academy to understand how to do this. To enable passwordless authentication using a global admin account, log in to portal.azure.com, which is where all of the settings for Microsoft 365 live. Go to Azure Active Directory, click on Security, then on Authentication Methods. On the screen that appears, click on Microsoft Authenticator. Under the Basics heading, flick the switch to Yes. Leave it on for all users to apply these settings to everyone in your Microsoft 365 tenant. Go down to All Users and click on the three dots button and click on Configure. Under Authentication Mode, you can choose Any, Passwordless or Push. Any allows the user to choose whether they want to use password or passwordless authentication. Push sends a notification to approve or deny a login request when a username and password is used to access the account. Passwordless uses passwordless only. If you want to enforce passwordless across your entire tenant, then the authentication mode should be set to passwordless. If you want to let the user choose which method to use, in other words, use a password or passwordless, select the any option. 
For this demonstration, I will choose any. This is a good way to start rolling it out to your users. They would start using it so they can get used to having no passwords, but you can then fall back to passwords if they are slow to get the hang of it. You would set a cutover date to only use passwordless from that future date onwards. Leaving it set to any forever is not advised as passwords can still be used to access the account, which is not the purpose of this video. Now we have set up the use of passwordless in the administrative console, we need to go to each device and register it for passwordless authentication. Remember we have set up multi-factor authentication on the phone app prior to this. Open the Authenticator app and tap on your Microsoft 365 account. Tap on Set up Phone Sign In and then tap on Continue. This registers your device to receive passwordless notifications. Tap on the register button. It takes a moment to register and then we're all set. Tap on finish. Now if we go to sign in, remember we selected any, so when I sign in, it will ask for a password. I need to click on the link use an app instead. Once I click on that, we will get the passwordless authentication prompt and any future logon attempts will default to that. However, it can be changed back to user password whenever the user wants. This is why you need to enforce passwordless on the tenant security policy. When this is done, the user will not be able to change between password and passwordless when they log in. It will only be passwordless. As we learned earlier in the video, you will get a two digit number displayed on the screen. Your phone will display a set of three two digit numbers. You need to select the correct number to log in. You may be prompted to provide your PIN or biometrics on your phone depending on how you have it set up. There we go, we've logged in without a password. Let's have another look at this with passwordless set as the default so you can see how seamless it is. There's our set of three numbers. Select 63, approve. Now we enter our pin. And now we're signed in. Simple. What did we learn? You don't need a password to log into Microsoft Online Services. Set up correctly, this will be three-factor authentication. This is much more secure than any other authentication methods. It's easy to set up now. Go and do it. Thank you for joining me for a look at passwordless authentication with Microsoft 365. This puts three-factor authentication in reach of everyone who has a Microsoft account. Time to activate this on your account, as this is the authentication method of the future. Don't forget, you can contact me via email, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Have you booked for your free one-on-one -on -one cybersecurity assessment? To book, visit loyalit.com.au slash register. Until next time, stay safe online. Oh yeah, this is the Cyber Informer. Hackers, you going down like, oh yeah. This is the Cyber Informer. Hackers, you going down, yeah.